so now let's display the view sent and view received so for that purpose we will go back to our view sent view received screen now for the time saving select this and remove all this and go to the like send like received and copy all of this from here and paste it here on the view sent view received so let's rename it according to the view sent and view received so right click on it first select this name right click on it refactor rename view sent view refactor so view sent view received screen and now let's rename this right click on it rename is view sent clicked refactor click refactor okay so it is renamed and also rename this refactor views list now we have to rename over this method refactor rename so we can give it name as get view list keys views list keys which is our this method and now in here this one is our view sent and then this one is our view received and one more thing is if you want to uh, rename these variables name of course you can do that just select this rename and you can simply move your cursor like this okay and just write here view sent document and press enter so it will refactor as you can see okay automatically it will do the changes at other places for example again here select this name right click on it refactor rename now you will see like this okay so you have to move your cursor using keyboard buttons and then right here view receive document and then press enter okay so it will do the changes automatically and then come down here to the widget build so the first button will be profile I viewed or you can say profile I seen and the other one will be viewed my profile or you can say seen by so this is all about our view sent view received one more thing which I have to mention here here on the like sent like received one thing which we do not rename earlier in the previous video was this variable name if you want to rename it you already know you have to just select this name right click on it refactor rename using your keyboard you can move cursor and simply rename it like this okay that's simple select name refactor rename when you rename it press enter and that's it so anyways now let's just test our application so the app is running now and now if you go to the scene so you know that I view Angela Smith profile let's say if I view now Julia Smith so I will click here on the details I view the Julia Smith profile 
So if I go back and if I click here, then you see that I view Julia Smith profile as well. Similarly, let me uninstall the app. And if I install the app again, let's quickly log in as Julia. So now as Julia is an online user that is logged in user so if Julia go to view my profile so you know that is my Marta view the Julia profile so now let's say if Julia view any person profile let's say is my Marta so now Julia view is my Marta profile so if Julia go to the scene then here you see profile I view so Julia view this profile and if Julia come here to view my profile so Julia know that is my Marta also view her profile and so on you can just keep viewing people profiles for example now this profile let's view this one so now if you go here then you will see these three profiles I view